Okay, part two is going to be how to create a natural part on your lace unit. This is the new part that I formed in part one. And if you guys did not watch part one, check that out. So all I'm going to be using is regular tweezers. And um, all you want to do is clear out those knots that's in between the part. So I'm going to use the tweezers. So what I'm using the tweezers for is to pull out the hairs that is in between the part. And I didn't speed this part up because I want to show you guys how time consuming this is. This does take a long time to do. So when doing this method you want to have a lot of patience and be very careful that you don't over pluck and that you don't pluck a hole in your lace so just take your time when you're doing it so all I'm doing is taking my tweezers and pulling out the hairs that are in between the part this is basically creating a fault bleach knot so if you do not know how to bleach your knots this is a great alternative um, this is just basically getting rid of the antsy look inside the part area so again, just taking the tweezers and just clearing out the hairs that are in between the part. And this whole thing took me about 20 minutes to do. And I'm getting a little bit closer so I could really see that all I'm doing is just pulling out the hairs in between the part to clear that area so it won't look too antsy because since the knots are not bleached that will give off that fake appearance. You could also bleach your knots. So this is me showing you guys the difference between not taking the hair out and when you do take the hair out. It's a major difference. So when you don't pluck your part, that's how you're, you will expect your part to look. And if you do pluck it, this is how it will look. So it's all personal preference, but this is something I've used to help my parts look a little bit more natural. And don't forget to stay tuned for part three, which will be me showing you guys how I style and apply my lace wig.